Hi everyone, welcome to the makeup chair. We are back with another video and I really hope you guys are gonna enjoy this one. But as always, I am here to help. So if you need any more advice, any more help, even if it's not related to this video, definitely let me know in the comment section or you can message me on Instagram, which is at Katie. My DMs are open for you guys. I love helping you guys. I love hearing from you guys. So definitely just reach out. I'm gonna help you guys out if I can. With all that said, let's get started with today's video. So I'm gonna start off with the first high-end foundation I absolutely fell in love with. You know, I've always been a massive fan of drugstore until I found this one. It's the Giorgio Armani Illuminous Silk Foundation. It's light to medium coverage, quite buildable, looks great and feels great on the skin. It doesn't have that heaviness. It feels kind of fresh and it looks quite fresh on the skin as well. Great for all age groups from the young to the old. You can apply it quite sheer on younger skin and then it doesn't sit in the fine lines of the mature skin, which I really like. Very easy to apply as well, regardless of your skill level. You can apply this with a sponge or a brush or even your fingertips. Honestly, if you're gonna try a high-end foundation, I would give this a go. It is a little expensive, but it is worth it. Great for the normal to dry combination skin. If you have very oily skin, I would recommend going for the other version, which is like a matte finish version. Equally as awesome, Giorgio Armani just make amazing foundations. Next up, we have the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Light Foundation. This is a medium foundation, but it's very long wear. I love the way it sits on the skin, particularly on mature skin. This is the one that I would recommend for mature skin. My mom uses this for special occasions, for instance, and I love how easy it is to apply. She likes to apply it with a brush and her fingertips. You don't have to know exactly what you're doing when it comes to foundation because it applies so easily. I would recommend this for the normal to dry combination skin and mature skin in particular, but you can definitely get away with this if you have oily skin if it's mildly oily though you definitely want to make sure that you're still setting through the center and you're still going to have a little bit of a glow there next up we have the lancome ultra wear nude basically what this is like it's like a cheek tint but in a foundation form if that makes sense so it almost tints your skin so it's going to give you light to medium coverage medium depending on how you actually finish it and start it so if you apply concealer underneath or if you apply powders over the top that will give you the more medium coverage but it's essentially supposed to just like tint the skin and give you like a your skin only better kind of appearance. Great for all age groups, but you do want to prep if you have mature skin, but it applies really easily. It's kind of almost like water. It's quite interesting. And it works for all skin types because essentially it's almost like applying a tint. So it, it works kind of with your own skin, which means you do have to make sure that you're prepping just to make sure that you're getting the right type of finish that you prefer. And then you also have the Benefit Hello Happy Foundation. This is very similar to that tinted one by Lancome. The only difference is this is a little closer to applying a foundation. So it's just like, just edging a little closer to that, but still very similar to applying a cheek tint or a lip stain. Looks sheer, feels sheer on the skin, but it is quite buildable depending on the way that you prep the skin beforehand. Great for all age groups. Once again, you need to prep it for the mature skin, but great for the younger generation as well and very easy to apply. It's, it is like applying water. It's very similar to what you would find in an airbrush machine, but just a little closer to applying, say like a tinted moisturizer. It's like if you mixed a tinted moisturizer with a water sort of thing. And then last week we have a new favorite of mine. I've been using this for about six months now. This is the Yves Saint Laurent Touche Cla Foundation. This is the glow one. It's very similar to that Giorgio Armani Illumina Silk. Very similar feel, applies a very similar way. Both foundations work beautifully, long lasting, gives the skin a gorgeous glow. The only thing that I love about this is it's great for traveling because if you tend to drop things, and ironically, I actually dropped this that wasn't supposed to happen, but I do drop things. And so when it comes to traveling, I don't like bringing the Giorgio Armani because it's made of glass. This one is great for traveling because it's in a tube and it's also got that nice little pump system. Great for normal to dry combination skin, but I do believe they come in a matte version. I'm not 100% sure, but I think they do. So this is a new favorite of mine, but I would love to hear if you guys have any recommendations as well. So that is it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up because I really appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here. Hit that little bell if you haven't already. It's right beside the subscribe button. And check out the other videos on the screen. Okay, 